On this video, I'm going to discuss the production possibilities curve or sometimes known as production possibilities frontier. All of the possible combinations of the maximum amount of two goods and services that can be produced with a given amount of resources is called production possibility frontier or production possibilities curve. Be reminded that the key terms here are combination of two goods looking to their different potentials in producing the quantity of output. Let's take an example. I have here echo bag and shoe. Echo bags and shoes are two different products and doesn't have the same environment. Echo bags is much easier to produce compared to shoes. The figure on the table that you can see are the quantity produced when these two products are combined. You can produce 25 echo bags but zero for shoes and same things happen for shoes over echo bags. As you can see or maybe you can observe that the greater the volume you produce for the product, the other product you produce is lesser. And that is only applicable when two combined products have different environment. Example, the echo bags and shoes. To further understand the production possibilities curve, let's plot the table in graph. We'll place the shoes in the x-axis and echo bags on y-axis. This is the picture of production possibilities curve. It slopes downward and a concave shape, merely because the two products combined are different. The point A, B, C, D, and A are the maximum possible combination of echo bags and shoes. The production possibilities curve also shows the idea of different concepts of economics, such as scarcity, trade of opportunity cost and efficiency. It shows the idea of scarcity because you cannot produce outside the curve, meaning that the curve or the frontier or the point A, B, C, D, and E shows that it has limited resources. The curve or the frontier shows the idea of trade-off because in order to produce one output, you have to give up one quantity of the other output. Just like here in our example, the echo bag and shoes. In order to produce more of echo bag, you have to give up producing shoes. And in order to produce more shoes, of course, you have to give up producing echo bag. Opportunity cost is the value of the best foregone alternative. It means that when you give up to produce shoes, you tend to produce more of echo bags. Now, you may wonder that trade-off and opportunity cost are both similar. Okay, let's clear things first. Trade-off means giving up one quantity of output in order to produce output of the other product. Now, opportunity cost is the specific number or quantity of the product you lost over the other product. Again, it's the specific quantity. Now, let's use the example to calculate the opportunity cost. We have point A to D, point B to C, point E to D, and point D to B. The opportunity cost of point A to D is 11 echo bags. The opportunity cost of point B to C is 4 echo bags. The opportunity cost of point E to D is 1 shoe. And the opportunity cost of point D to B is 2 shoes.
And lastly, the production possibilities curve shows the idea of efficiency. Because if you use any of the combination found in the graph, you are using your available resources to the fullest. And that means efficiency. On this point G, you cannot simply produce 10 echo bags and 2 shoes, mainly because you have inefficient resources. It means that only combination of goods found along the curve or can be produced. It's because of limited resources or scarcity. Point H means that you cannot produce higher quantity of both product because it is beyond the curve and you don't have available resources. Let's take another example. Rice and corn. Rice and corn are both similar products. Moreover, they are substitute goods. When you intend to produce a particular amount of rice, you also produce the same amount of corn. When you give up one unit of rice, you also give up one unit of corn. And this concept is called constant opportunity cost. Let's go back to our example, the echo bag and shoes. Remember that echo bag and shoes are two different products which doesn't have the same environment. When you intend to produce greater quantity for echo bag, that means you may not be able to produce for shoes. And when you increase the quantity of the product, that will also increase the opportunity cost, just like what happened to echo bag and shoes. Whereas, the opportunity cost from point A to B is 2, point B to C is 4, point C to D is 5, and point D to E is 14. This concept is called increasing opportunity cost. The law of increasing opportunity cost states that when all resources are being used, an increase in the production of one good will lead to greater foregone production of another good. This law is applicable on combined products having different environment and nature. Thank you.